Okay, quick look at how to highlight some markings. And here we have a typical tire crayon. You want to work the crayon down into the marking. Just like that. You got to work it until you see it filling it in. Work it all around. Get it in there. Take your time because it's not just going to flow in there because this is cold metal. Work it down in there. Just like that. Get it all pasty on there. Don't worry about overlapping and making a mess. Work it right in there. Just like that. It's only wax. It's not going to harm the metal or the metal's finishing. Anyway at all, and a little warmth, even the warmth of a light bulb, will flow it right back out of there. Usually what will happen is you'll start shooting it, and all of a sudden there'll be yellow crap coming off in your hand, so bring a tissue with you to wipe it off when that happens. But this is a good way to highlight markings if you want to take pictures of something for your records or for YouTube or whatever. You can do that. You know, but a mess like that. Okay, then you take an old crummy rag, any rag. This isn't quite as rough as I usually like it to be, but it'll do, because you're going to have to work it around as your rag starts to turn yellow. Get another part of it. See how it's starting to come off a little bit. It's cold metal, so you're going to have to work it. Alright, there we're starting to see a little improvement. Put some strength into it. Don't baby it. This is going to have to... There we go. You can see now, it's starting to show up the markings a little bit. We still got plenty of leftover on there to take care of. There we go. Whoopsie. Move to a clean part of the rag every minute or so because it's going to start getting all pasted up with the wax. See, we're starting to see the half moon there, crescent moon rather. Let's get around the markings up on top a little bit. By the way, never do this on something that has any kind of a parkerized finish. That includes Plastic Fantastics, M1 Garands, some AKs, because parkerization will trap that wax in there and you will not get it out without heating it. And you won't highlight anything, it'll just be a big yellow splotch. So you don't want to do that. Magazines and stuff like that. All that modern crap. Old stuff like this with no finish at all or nice blue finishes won't hurt it any. Okay. And there we go. It's starting to show up. I'm not going to be 100% neat here. Just enough to give you an idea. As I have been told somebody had a problem with getting this to work. And there we go. Get that to focus nicely. And you can see it right there. See if we can zoom in on that a little bit better. There we go. Highlights everything nice. You can see it. It'll take a nice picture now. You don't have to worry about focusing so much. And it's just a regular tire crayon. There we go. High intensity rubber marking crayon. That's all it is. Just a fancy version of your old Crayolas. It's even made in USA. There's the name of the company right there. Can't find it at your local auto parts store. You can always call them and get it. And that's how you highlight something on a firearm without using anything permanent.